I'm Alex Truly, the head of Tokamak operations here at CFS. Welcome to our campus. Let me show you around. And so this is the middle of our office building here in the Devons campus. It's about 60 acres total. Um, this building is a combination of offices for the engineering staff, the rest of the company, um, first and second floor. We are also attached to a manufacturing floor where we'll build all of the magnets for the Spark Tokamak um, as well as for future things. And um, we're about 550 employees total. Um, we can have 300 uh, people at desks and maybe another 100 people on the manufacturing floor. So it's a big campus um, and a lot of pieces here and we're excited for the next step. So uh, that'll be um, operating the Spark Tokamak. So we'll walk now over to the control room where we'll run the machine from. So this here on my right, on your left, is the control room for the Spark Tokamak. So when we're running the machine, when we're doing the experiments, getting ready to build our power plants, we'll all be doing it from in here. We'll have engineers and scientists and technicians all looking at data, um, figuring out what's next, running the machine, um, and exploring how to, how to go further. So next, we'll walk over to the manufacturing floor where we'll, we're going to be building the magnets for the Spark Tokamak. So follow me this way. So this is our manufacturing floor. Um, it's about 100,000 square feet, or 10,000 square meters if you're, if you're operating in metric. Um, we're going to be building all of the magnets for the uh, Spark machine here. So it's three types of magnets, the toroidal field coils, the big D, uh, capital D-shaped magnets, the poloidal field coils, which are big circles, and the central solenoid, which is more like a, a small cylinder in the middle. All of those are going to be manufactured here, um, all using novel processes developed um, you know, between CFS and MIT and some of our other partners all coming together um, at this facility. When the magnets are done, um, they'll go out the door, make a left, drive over to the Spark Tokamak, um, and begin installation. So I can, the next thing we'll see actually is hopefully we'll be able to walk over and see the actual Spark Tokamak facility itself, where we're not, we don't have uh, the magnets in there yet, but we're getting ready to put them in. So if you'll follow me this way. So now we're exiting the CFS-1 office and manufacturing facility, and we'll head over to the CFS-2 Spark facility, but first we'll put our PPP on. So this is the Spark site. As you can see, it's still under construction, but we've made a lot of progress. It's always worth noting that a little bit over two years ago, there was nothing here. Um, this actually used to be a former military base, um, but it was just like basically a field. And in those two years, we've made a ton of progress. We've worked with our excellent construction partners, Bond Brothers. This whole facility has come together. Uh, the Spark facility is a demonstration facility, so it'll show all the concepts, show all the engineering systems, show the basic science that we need to get to a power plant. Um, and the facility consists of kind of five buildings. So there's a big one in the middle, we call the Tokamak Hall, and four buildings around it that kind of support it uh, and keep it running. So if you want to follow me in, we can take a tour. So we're now in what we call the operations building. So this will be the most office feeling of the buildings we have. Um, we can walk around this way and I can show you some of the equipment that we'll have in here. So if you want to follow me. So this building is largely used to control um, what's going on in the rest of the plant. So we have a bunch of rooms here. Uh, these are all for what we call diagnostics, but it's basically like fancy instrumentation that we use to measure what's going on inside of the tokamak so that we can run the machine, we can, we can control it, but also so that we can learn uh, what to do better, what to change, what to make improvements for the next one, this ARC power plant that we're building. In addition to that, we have some control computers in here that, that will run the plant. Um, we'll have some like meeting rooms to kind of plan the day's work, um, as well as some kind of smaller electronic shops where we can make upgrades, we can make changes uh, to small things so that we can move quickly uh, and learn as we go to the next one. Um, and so we'll head this direction next um, into the RF building. Hey, so now we are walking from the diagnostics building, the, the operations building, into the radio frequency building, the RF building. And this one's really important because this is how we heat the plasma, heat the fuel in our fusion plant to get it hot enough where it starts fusing. So uh, in a tokamak, in a, a fusion machine, if you want, you want to start doing fusion, you need the fuel to be like 100 million degrees, so very hot. And we do that with radio waves. So these big pipes behind me, these are what we call waveguide. Uh, they carry radio frequency waves. We'll generate those waves up at the top of this building. Uh, they then go through a little trench um, and come up next to the tokamak and plug into the side. And that's how we heat up the, the plasma in the tokamaks. The rest of this building, this big kind of central hall here, 
uh, is where the magnets will come in. So we call this the assembly hall. Um, it's like a staging area for all the pieces that are going to come into the tokamak. So trucks can come in. We have two big bridge cranes that will pick stuff off the trucks, get them ready, um, eventually put them onto what is a, uh, essentially like a very big dolly. And we kind of roll them into where the tokamak is going to be put together. Um, and we start assembling the thing. So if you guys want to follow me in, we can see the tokamak hall. So we are now standing in the tokamak hall. So that's where we're actually going to put Spark together. This is basically ready for assembly, so we're ready to start putting pieces of the machine together. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty big room, but it's not huge, which is great because we don't want something too big. Uh, it's very clean now. Uh, eventually, it'll get a bit dirtier as we turn it into more of an industrial environment. But you can actually see a life-size picture of what Spark will be in the background. So this is the Spark machine. It'll be right in the middle of the room. It's about nine meters tall and nine meters wide, so roughly 30 feet tall and 30 feet wide. Um, and we're very excited to kind of start putting the whole thing together, um, which should happen maybe at the end of this year or, or very early uh, next year. And so, yeah, uh, we can go now and start seeing some other pieces of the building. So if you want to follow me out this way. So we are now in the power building. Um, and this is where we have all the electrical power, all the big transformers that we use to power the magnets inside of Spark. So all the magnets in Spark are electromagnets, so you run current through them. And that makes a magnetic field that kind of holds the plasma. And this whole building will have the, the power supplies, all of the equipment that we need to power the magnets. Then those will then go through a different trench, come up beneath the tokamak, come up to the bottom, and go and alter the magnets. So uh, we'll follow me this way, and we'll uh, see some more of the plant as we go. So we'll head out this way. Kind of a cool view here, too. So we're now on the little balcony, uh, the second floor of the tokamak hall. So if you can now see all these like holes that'll go through the wall. That's where we make all the measurements that we need to run the plant. Uh, you can see these big cranes up here on the top. We'll use those to put the tokamak together. Um, and I think this is a really great vantage point to kind of see the full scale model of the machine. So you can see it like what it'll look like once it's all put together. Cool. Um, let's go check out the last pieces of the building. We'll head back this way. So this is the last building uh, in the Spark facility. This is utility building. So this is where we have all of the equipment to keep the magnets cold and to get the power out of the machine once we've made it. So this is the tour. Um, we can head back outside. So uh, thanks for joining. That's the tour of the Spark buildings. Uh, we're making a lot of progress and we'll continue to work on it. Uh, the buildings are nearly done. Um, and then after that, we'll start installing all the equipment inside, both the industrial equipment, but then also the pieces of the Spark tokamak itself. So if you come back in a few months or in a year, uh, it'll look different, which is good because we're making progress um, and taking one step closer to both operating Spark, but then eventually getting to a full power plant like Arc. So thanks for coming. Uh, come back soon.